going on hexakins posakins posax just wanted to give a shout out to a number of people that have been influential along my journey here uh richard hart crypto coffee hexologist rags to riches joe perry's gerardo whales only cabana crypto maddie all in bang bang crypto kindness crypto panda and of course i couldn't forget crypto heartbeat so i live in oregon my name is john and i'm with crypto compassion and uh you know i got into hex back in march of 2021 so i am not an og but some great things happen in crypto and uh come july i back the truck up with pulse chain i feel very good in my position and like maddie all in would say that i've been doing well but the sudden wealth syndrome is probably going to be upon me and so i've been forced to really think hard and long about the decisions in life when i no longer at 41 have to work i can help take care of my family and friends and uh you know i was on a journey where life wasn't always great in 2012 i fell into a uh methamphetamine addiction and i struggled with that and i lost everything at the time my wife and my two kids left me in 2012 and then in 2015 i got my act together and i came to rehab here in hawaii i left oregon i had to get away from oregon i had to leave i had to move to a different place where I could experience life without temptation and I came to this island and I never looked back. But just because I came to the island and spent two weeks to get clean, then I went back to Oregon, doesn't mean everything came back to peachy life. I had to work my butt off. And now that things have gotten better, I always told myself that I would come back and help out the drug rehab facility the best way I can. And that kind of leads me into, that kind of leads me into why I'm here. This is my first time back since 2015. And they've asked me to come here and, and speak and encourage uh, to some of the guys there in drug rehab and kind of show them what's happened with me and my success. and and how I can encourage them to do the same. And so on that note, there are some things that I'm looking to do as far as uh, nonprofit, like Matt from Crypto Heartbeat uh, speaks about unlocking global generosity. And uh, some of the things that I wanna do and team up with people has nothing to do with drug rehab. I mean, it could bring bringing water to Africa but some of the nonprofit stuff and trust stuff that I'd like to build on the blockchain would help everyone in crypto. But, you know, in many ways, I'm a maximalist when it comes to, I'm not gonna lie, Hex, Pulse Chain and Pulse X. And uh, I'm excited about that. Very excited about it. You know, here we are, it's January. We just had a large, uh, still in the middle of it, sacrifice for Pulse X. Pulse Chain, we had the sacrifice set start in um, July there, and we're anticipating and eagerly awaiting. Um, as it speaks right now, we're just over 900 million for Pulse X. It's just amazing. I've onboarded 
countless people as far as uh, into Hex and into the full sex sacrifice. And I'm just so pumped and excited. And more than anything, you know, kind of like uh, the interview that Matt from Crypto Heartbeat had with Richard, you know, people are the end, go end game. People are the end game. And I would just highly encourage everyone to get their their house in order, the affairs, because uh, the loon birds are coming. The loon birds are coming. And you know, when you get the house and the houses and the cars, uh, then you need to start protecting your wealth, security. Uh, you also want to take a look at your uh, tax write-offs and all that kind of good stuff. And so with Crypto Compassion, I'm not really quite sure where it's going to go other than I have a calling and a, and a feeling that I want to participate in giving back to people. It is just absolutely gorgeous today. I came from Oregon and it was 40 and rainy and I showed up here yesterday and it was just like 73 and sunny and I'm blessed. I am blessed. I plan on coming back here. Shoot, I might move here. But I plan on coming back at least uh, every two months and participate in the drug rehab. I know I have plans to go to Africa in June. My friend runs a orphanage over there and I'm excited just to be a part of it and give back in every way possible. And then at the meantime, just be a part of the community. Um, so the channel that I'm putting forth as far as crypto compassion, I really will not be shilling that much. <laughs> um, but that's not the emphasis of, of the channel. The emphasis is more like Matt talks about from Crypto Heartbeat of global generosity. And I'm just wanting to showcase where I'm gonna be putting some boots, boots on the ground and doing, doing things and encourage developers to reach out to me, to encourage community members that want to participate in just getting out and doing great things and changing people's lives, helping change people's lives that are unable to help themselves. Um, you know, we always talk about financial freedom. Some people just need uh, some spiritual freedom, some drug freedom. They need all kinds of stuff just to get out of their own way before they can experience even financial freedom. Um, you know, whether it's poverty or, or people that are just flat out hungry or don't even have a mom or a dad. Um, but I'm excited. So I just wanted to reach out to you guys. I'm here in Kauai, Hawaii. I will be uh, doing some fun things while I'm here and I'll be continuing to make some more content and videos. I'm keeping this relatively short. I know there's a lot of people that are in the community that I missed. At some point, I'll just drop everyone that has just, you know, been inspirational to me and helped me. Thank you very much. Once again, it's John with Crypto Compassion, and it's absolutely beautiful.